Good morning everybody and welcome to you with myself Sharon Brown. I hope you are all doing well on this Wednesday morning. I am coming in today to help you clear, do an ancestral clear and to help you clear the father line. So I done the mother line a couple of weeks ago. So I was really guided to come in and do the father line today. So it's really allowing us to let that go once and for all any patterns any behaviorals any traits that we are holding on to in within our dna and our cellular memory that does not serve us now is allowing it to clear allowing that timeline to clear all around down your father's ancestral line whatever that is for you because everyone is different so we're just going to bring in the energy clearing what needs to be cleared and just mm -hmm. letting it go once and for all so I'm going to ask you to take a deep breath in. Good morning, Helen. So calling all your energy. Good morning, Maya. Calling all your energy back from people, places, situations, time and space. All the way back. And as it's coming back, allowing it drop through that divine filter of pure love and light. Unhooking. And unleashing from everyone and everything. All the way back, all the way back through that divine filter of pure love and light. Unhooking and unleashing from everyone and everything. All the way back. All the way back to that divine filter of pure love and light. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. And allowing your energy to fully, fully drop into you. So allowing you drop in to you. And breathe out. Take another deep breath in. Acknowledge how you're feeling, not wanting to change anything. And just letting go of the expectation, whatever it is for you. And breathe out. Bring your awareness to your heart and as you bring your awareness to your heart, visualize three big golden roots coming out of your heart chakra, into your solar plex, into your navel, your sacral, your root, your hips, your legs, your feet, the floor right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling your energy and Mother Earth's energy combining as one and feeling this energy move all the way down up into your earth star chakra pulling your earth star chakra all the way down 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 right down into that center of the crystalline grid all the way down allowing you to fully fully anchor your energy in just fully anchoring in feeling your roots wrap around the crystalline grid it's allowing your energy to settle just settle settle in I'm feeling the second part of the grid to come up to fully seal it in your earth star chakra. Feeling this energy move up into your feet, your root and your heart. Doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Now I'm calling in the energy from source, pure unconditional love of the highest vibration. Dropping right down into your stellar gateway. Clearing anything that's stopping you from having divine connection. Into your soul star chakra so you can see, sense and feel your true soul's path. And allowing that to fully illuminate in front of you. Into your causal chakra so your intuition could be fully heightened. Into the crown of your head so you can think more clearly. Into your third eye so you can see more clearly. Into your ear chakra so you can hear divine guidance. Into your throat chakra so you can speak 
your truth with pure love and light into the higher heart, connecting into that universal energy of 5G and allowing you to anchor that within your life and body into your heart so you can love you. You can see you. You can see your beauty inside and out. Into your solar plex so you can unleash your true divine masculine energies, allowing them to fully balance within the body and fully accepting yourself no matter what. Into your navel chakra so you can connect into that universal energy of oneness, oneness to all, connection to all and allowing you to anchor that within. Into your sacral chakra so you can unleash your true divine feminine energies, allowing them to fully balance within the body and remember and reawakening your true gifts and talents, who you truly are. <clears throat> Into your root chakra so you can bring in the abundance of life and all life has to offer. Into your hips, your legs and your feet so you can take any necessary steps forward, right down into your earth star chakra and into the core of Mother Earth. Feeling this energy move up into your feet, your root and your heart. Doing a 360 degree around your heart chakra. Feeling your energy, Mother Earth's energy and Father Sky's energy combining as one. And feeling this energy move to every part of your body. Every part of your being. Allowing you drop right down into that stillness into that oneness, into that zero point where nobody needs anything from you, nobody wants anything from you. This is your time and your space. So just bringing in the attention of clearing your ancestral father line what needs to clear, allowing that timeline to be cleared on all levels, all layers, all dimensions, past, present and future lifetimes. Just allowing yourself on being guided to bring in the drum, allowing yourself to go deep within.
Just crossing your hands over your knees and just allowing yourself to slowly, slowly come back. Just allowing, allowing, because that was quite deep. That was extremely deep. You're very welcome, Regina. So just allowing what needs to come up, up and out. Um, you might need to journal on it. I'm getting maybe there's stuff that you need to just literally get out. If you're journal on it, journal on it, burn it, let it go. Okay. There's deep, deep stuff there that needs to come out. You might need to listen to this twice. That's what I'm getting. If anyone needs to listen to it twice, it's going to be up on my page. It's going to be on my YouTube channel. It's always going to be there, but I feel that some people might need, need to listen to it twice. And if there's something, a deep hurt I'm getting around your father, around your grandfather, around that father line that you need to get out, to write it down, write it down and burn it and let it go. OK, because once it's out, it's written. You don't need to give them the letter. They don't need to see the letter. Just allowing it to be burnt and allowing it out. So you're not holding onto it anymore. So guys, thank you for watching this. You're very welcome. Hazel, Helen, Maya and Regina and anybody else that's watching. Thank you for watching this. Thank you for watching the replay. And if you would like to work with me on a one-to-one -one basis, please DM me. Have a magical day, guys. And I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.